Welcome to Tech X Lovers. Architecture in 2030. Futuristic concepts you will want to see. Cocoon Hotel and Resorts. Cocoon Hotel and Resort is a most eco friendly hotel and resort in Tulum, Mexico. The project is designed by DNA Barcelona Architects and is inspired by primordial sensations of the nest and the need for protections. The hotel and resort will consist of 46,181 square meters and will include three residential and two hotel buildings, as well as 16 private villas. The buildings are designed to blend it with the natural environment and will feature green roofs and natural materials. The hotel and resort will offer a variety of amenities including swimming pools, a gym, a kids club, a conference halls, a bar and a restaurant. There will also be a number of outdoor spaces including jungle gardens and a panoramic terrace with a view of the Tulum jungle. Terminal 4 International Airport Shenzhen Terminal 4 and Bo International Airport Exchange is a new state-of-the-art terminal that is scheduled to open in 2023. Terminal is designed by Rogers District Harbor Plus partner RSHP and inspired by the natural environment options. The terminal is a massive structure that covers an area of 40 100,000 square meters. It features a floating roof that is reminiscent of the mountains and rivers of Shins. Shenzhen, the terminal is also home to a number of gardens and other green spaces that help to create a sense of calm and tranquility. The job is designed to be a sustainable facility, so it features a number of energy saving features such as rainwater, harvesting system, and a solar panel system. So the terminal is home to a number of green building materials such as recycled wood and bamboo. Bioframe. The Bioframe is an architectural prosthetic design by Arno Mantis Architectures. It is a modular hybrid Nassenberg clip firm frame that is designed to be grafted onto existing high rise towers. The Bioframe system holds outdoor space that can modify and adapt to meet the sustainable and wellness needs for a modern urban community. In turn, increasing the overall quality of city life. The Bioframe system is comprised of a number of prefabricated modules that can be easily attached to existing buildings. The modules are made of mass timber, which is sustainable and renewable material. The modules can be used to create a variety of different outdoor spaces, such as garden terraces and balconies. The Bioframe system has a number of advantages over traditional construction methods, so it is more sustainable and use less energy and material. It is also more flexible flexible as the modules can be easily added or removed to meet the changing needs of the building. Future Hospital Qatar. The Future Hospital Qatar, also known as Al Dayan Health District, is a state of art healthcare facility that is currently under construction. In Doha, Qatar, the hospital is expected to be completed in 2025 and will be one of the largest and most advanced hospitals in the world. So, the Future Hospital Qatar is being designed by OMA, world renowned architecture firm. The hospital is designed to be a sustainable and environmentally friendly facility. It will feature a number of green building features such as solar panels, parade water, harvesting systems, and green roof. The future hospital Tadar will be home to a number of specialized medical centers including a cancer center, a cardiac center, and a neurological center. The hospital will also have a number of journal medical and surgical units. ODSA Expo 2030. The ODSA 302030 is a powerful world expo to be held in Odessa, Ukraine on April 26 to October 14, 2030. The theme of the expo is Renaissance Technology Future. The expo is planned to be held on 260 capture sites located on former irrigation field between the Black Sea and the Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay is The site is currently being developed and the expo is expected to attract over 90 million visitors. The expo will feature trading from countries all over the world, showcasing their talent, their latest innovations, and the achievements in technology, science, and culture. So there will be a 
number of thematic pavilions focusing on topics such as sustainable development, climate change, and education. In addition to the pavilions, the Axco will have features of a number of attractions with events and including concerts, exhibitions, and sporting competitions. So there will be also a number of education programs and activities for children and adults. China Future Stadium Chongqing Longqing Stadium is a football specific stadium located in the Lijingin New Area. Chongqing China it has a capacity of 1600,000 spectators and it is one of the largest football specific stadiums in the country. The stadium was designed by GMP Architecture and was completed in 2020. The design is inspired by the traditional Chinese architecture of the mountains and rivers of the Chongqing. The stadium features a flowing roof that is reminiscent of the Yangtze rivers and the surrounding mountains. The stadium is one of the most home of the Chongqing Legend Architect FC, a team that plays in the Chinese Super League. The stadium has also hosted a number of international matches, including the 2023 AFC Asian Ship. Chongqing Longshan Stadium is a state of the art facility that is sure to become a landmark in Chongqing and it is a statement to China growing commitment to football and the value of major international sporting events. Shanghai Aquarium you need architect that has won an international design competition to build a public aquarium in Shanghai, China. The aquarium will be located on an island at the south of the Yangtze rivers and will be a part of larger nature reserve. The aquarium is designed to be a sustainable and educationally facility. It will feature a variety of exhibits on the critical life of Yangtze River and other parts of the world. The aquarium will also have a research center that will focus on the conversation of aquatic ecosystem. The aquarium is expected to be completed in 2025 and is expected to attract over 10th million visitors per year. It will be a major tourist attraction that will help to promote understanding of the importance of aquatic ecosystem. The design of the aquarium is inspired by the natural forms of Yangtze's rivers and surrounding landscape. The building is composed of three wings. They are connected by the central spine. The wings are clad in transparent PTFE, which will create a luminous and inviting interior. The aquarium will feature a variety of exhibits, including a large tank that will hold a variety of fish, sharks, and other marine life. There are also the exhibits on the Yangtze River ecosystem the history of finishing in China and importance of aquatic conversation. Mars by Lens Architectures and Mars by Lens Architect is a project that invention what future human settlements on Mars could look like. The project is a collaboration between Lens Architecture and team of scientists and engineers. So they have developed a number of concepts for how human could live and work on Mars, taking into account the harsh environmental conditions of the planet. One of the key concepts of the project is the use of local resources. The architect has developed a number of ways to use marine material to create building and other structures. For example, they have proposed using marine regulate to create 3D printed buildings and another key concept in the project sustainably. The architects have designed the settlements to be self-sufficient and to produce their own food and energy. They also have proposed using recycled materials in the construction of the settlement. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. For more videos, subscribe to Lovers.